Carolina Air National Guard welcomed two F-35 fighter jets on its runway for the first time March 21st and 22nd. The F-35 fighter pilots assigned to the 33rd Fighter Wing at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida arrived at McIntyre Joint National Guard Base to perform integrated training with 169th Fighter Wing F-16 fighter pilots. As we move forward, the, both the F-35s at Eglin and us here really want to integrate together. It benefits the F-35s at Eglin because they get a unique opportunity to practice with us on a regular basis, both with our, our ranges and with our experience and with our jets. And for us, it gives us an opportunity to really uh, define some tactics that haven't been built yet and we can be on the leading edge. The importance of integrating is as these fifth gen fighters come online, they're not replacing fourth gen fighters at a one to one ratio. So you need to have both fourth gen and fifth gen and be able to maximize both of the strengths of each of those assets to be able to get the mission done in the 21st century. The South Carolina Air National Guard is looking to the future and posturing for the potential of receiving the F-35. McIntyre is equipped to handle the F-35 because we, one of the, the great things about McIntyre is its, its own guard installation. We have the greatest depth of experience in the seed deed mission here at McIntyre between the pilots and the maintainers. So the biggest benefit to the Air Force as a whole is being able to transfer that experience into the latest airframe. It's also beneficial to McIntyre to be able to get the F-35 because it enables us to keep our mission going well into the 2030s, 2040s, 2050s. So we're ready to receive the F-35 should we get selected. Upgrades to facilities along with runway and taxiway improvements have been accomplished that would make the transition from F-16s to F-35s a simple process. Reporting for the South Carolina Air National Guard, I'm Tech Sergeant Casey Watson.